What's up, everybody? We're here with the final episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. I have decided the way we are going to finish the Guardian Gauntlet is going to be a best of five uh, for Ymir, okay? So best of five for Ymir. So that way you're guaranteed at least three Ymir games, okay? That's, that's pretty good. And if I lose, then I go back to Mojo, whatever. Um, but yeah. So five games to finish the Guardian Gauntlet. End it strong. Ooh, Achilles. This is actually a hard matchup for Ymir. Um, the reason this is a hard matchup, I learned. I used to lose this all the time, and I didn't know why. But Achilles 2 gives CCR. And what that means is for most of the game, if I use my freeze, I can't auto attack cancel into my 2. Otherwise, he can get out of it. In late game, he can get out of it either way. Um, even if I don't auto attack cancel. Well, no, I think he, I can still do it, but... It's really difficult, and then especially the sidesteps. So I am going to try my hardest to win this early game. We're going to go pretty standard start here. Horif Aegis or Horrific? I think I'm going to go Horrific. I need the Snowball. Now, some of you may know I'm not a fan of Horrific on Ymir. That's ma mainly a Iranian start. But uh, if I am going for a an early game win, I, I, I do go it. Now, hopefully he didn't get sprint. He probably got beads, but we'll see. Racer, okay, that's good. So we will want to um, try and get red buff here. He can steal it from us with his stun, but we'll see. Just get the minis for now. Yeah, so an interesting matchup to start, the best of five. Achilles, I would say this is a losing matchup more than a winning matchup, but we'll see. He's taking a ton of minion damage. Ton of minion damage. Pop, pop horrific. Oh, I cannot go for that. What HP? No! Dang it. Mm, I thought the frost bite would do a little bit more. That was a little stupid of me. I'll be honest. Either way, um, I am very happy with the Guardian Gauntlet um, overall. Banning Terra, I do not regret at all. I know some people are angry about that, but um, it was for the best. I'm just overall happy with the series. Um, now, a lot of people have been asking, will I do a warrior guardian gauntlet type thing? And I'm still not sure, to be honest, because guardians are my specialty, warriors are not. Um, I do enjoy some warriors, but I, I don't know if that's the type of series for me. Now, others have asked for a, a season two guardian gauntlet, and I think that could be fun, especially with season seven coming and a new map. But the only change I would do is that I might change it so that I just don't go back down after losing. I just stay on the god until I win with them. Because that's honestly the point of the series. Also, nice kill. That's kind of the point of the series, don't you think? Is that, uh, you know, I I keep playing a god until I get a win with them. That way I'm, I'm guaranteed a win with every single god. Because the losing, it does make it more risky and more exciting on whether I win or lose. But it's really disappointing when I keep losing. Oh, I'm, I might actually die here. Does he not have his ult? Okay, nice. <laughs> Sometimes, when without Ymir boots, if your ping is high enough, you will actually wall yourself off when you do that. But yeah, uh, it got pretty, pretty. That was pretty nice there. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I clenched. I clenched. Okay. Yeah. So they they changed it a while back that you can. Do the Ymir trick without uh without shoes but it's pretty inconsistent i don't like to go out without boots because uh i get screwed over by lag a lot i'm pretty sure in some of my other full Ymir gameplays i've done that and died because it just didn't work properly but yeah i'm not sure about a, a warrior thing i do know that once now that this series is done i just want to start uploading a bunch of full gameplays like for my favorite gods like yamoji whoa whoa this guy does damage let's let's show him some actual damage oh that works for me that works for me okay this is interesting uh he already got he's getting attack speed boots hmm i do think this is going to be get to late game because a lot of kills are being thrown out I'm kind of scared because of that Achilles 2. And saving my freeze until Achilles 3 is out, I, I, I will die. But, uh, yeah. 
We'll, we'll see what happens. My, I should probably get a Jade Empress, actually. Because the Jade Empress is not nerfed right now. It's nerfed next patch. Nice to juke. Yeah, you can use that three to... Uh... Oh, well, that's not where, how you're supposed to use it. Oh, dang it. Unfortunate. I'm lucky, dude. <laughs> oh, very lucky. <laughs> dude, oh, can I just say this is an exciting matchup? Bes besides the first blood. This has been a really cool match. I like it. Um, I wasn't looking forward to it at the load in, but I'm happy with it now. This is exciting. It's not like someone just towers hitting for 30, 20 minutes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, one more thing. Uh, I was going to make a Guardian Gauntlet montage, but because the Guardian Gauntlet released so close to my regular Guardian montage, I don't know if I'm going to do that after all. Um, he should die here. Bankrupt's too strong. I, I, there are some great clips from the Guardian Gauntlet, though, that we could edit into a montage. But if I do do one, it's going to be delayed. Just because I just released my Guardian montage and I don't want to top it. I think that's going to be my last montage for a while. Just because, A, I don't think I can top it. And, B, it takes so much time. Like, I was working on that montage for months. And thank you guys for the... The feedback on it. I really appreciate it. But uh, I definitely want to upload some more Yamoja gameplay. Oh. Oh, that sucks. More Yamoja gameplay because I've been getting really good with her. I'm really... Ooh. The very edge. Oh, five minute game. Okay, well this is, this is why we're doing best of five. This is why we're doing best of five. Okay. I do think we're gonna, they're all going to be in one video. But um... Yeah, I've been getting really good at Yamoja and she's so fun. And there's a lot of tricks I want to show. So... Once I finish this Garden Gauntlet, we're going to upload a lot of videos of whatever the hell I want to play, like Yamoja, for example. She's probably one my second favorite Guardian right now. Uh, Ymir Fafnir, Yamoja, top three. I don't know the order. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. We are going to do all of these games in one video. All right, here we are with the next step, next episode. In the same episode, uh, next part, next game of the last episode. Uh... I cannot decide whether to ban Anubis or Hell. Because I've been fighting so many Hells lately. I'll ban Anubis. Alright, let's do this. Alright, here we go. Here we go, Kokokin with the tier 5 skin. Respectable, respectable. Uh, Kokokin's pretty good now. I like how we're getting a nice variety of the mirror matches, actually. So we just went against Achilles, which is an up-in-your-face type god that I honestly feel like beats you mirror if you play him correctly because of the CCR. But here we are against Kokokin, which is very different. Um, he's one of those mages that will tower sit and use his slow to annoy the hell of you. And then when you try to kill him, he ults and kills you and wins the game. Um, very good dual god. He's, he's one of those under-the-radar type dual gods. Like, when you think of the good gods in duel, Kukulkan does not come to mind. But I, I think he's very strong when he comes online. Um, he's okay against Ymir. Um, I think the Blink will win us the game, though. The Blink will definitely win us this game. Also, I'm pretty sure we can secure this red buff if we do this appropriately. So what we do is four auto attacks. Okay. Wait for our two to come up. Oh, hold on. Never mind. We're going for it. Mwah. Never mind. I was going to try to get the red buff, but usually people wait till the last second to try to steal it. But instead, he was just gunning for it. And in that situation, I should have uh, unleashed the buff or started attacking him directly. Do not want to walk in Tornado. You know that skin? I've never fought against it, so I don't understand the animations, if I'm being honest. I've never fought against that skin before. If he backs here, we go straight for our blue buff. He has beads. I want. I would blink on him, but he has those beads. Instead, what we can do is this. Get his beads that way. There we go. Next time we have a chance to blink on him, we do that and kill him. But we can actually take his blue buff right now. Ooh, is he not going to let us take this? Ooh, you got some stones, man. Against the Ymir with blink... Ooh, that was very risky, knowing that his beads were down. All right, I like the start. Didn't get red buff, but that's fine. I actually hope that with these games, that we get as much variety as possible. 
So even if I win all three games, I feel like it's good enough to be like, we did it, the Guardian Gauntlet's done. Took way more episodes than I had hoped just because of Terra. Like, Sobek I was stuck on for a minute, but Terra, like, I was dreading <laughs> recording because of Terra. But besides Terra, I love this series so much. I thought it was so fun, and I really liked the feedback from it. If I do do a Season 2 Guardian Gauntlet, I will include Terra, but like I said in the last game, I don't think I'm going to have it, so I go back down. Because if I I know if I play the same god back to back, um, and just knowing I, I'll get a win eventually, I know I can do it. I know I can do it. Give give me ten games as any god, and I'm pretty sure I can get a win. It'll suck, but is that his ultimate animation? Okay. <laughs> I just saw him flash colors. I'm like, is he ulti again? Yeah, he's ulti. <laughs> it was my first time fighting him in duel. I think I fought it. Maybe in other game modes, but I just don't pay attention to him enough. Literally didn't know he was ulting. Like, I saw him change colors and was like, is he ulting? And if he is, I'm dead. But, like, I didn't have boots, so there was nothing I could do. If he has his two, he should be able to get away. Okay. Now, this is where we want to keep him to stay as long as possible, because... It he has no mana. I'm dead though? Yeah, I'm dead. Dang. I could have maybe popped it a tiny bit earlier, but the chances of me not doing enough damage and not killing him and me dying anyways, the risk of that, it was just better to guarantee that I got the kill. Oh, let's get this. Very good stuff. Um, what else can I talk about? I can talk about life stuff. I don't talk about life stuff on YouTube much, but I just finished my semester of college. It's going good. Oh, you just ulted that, didn't you? Okay. Let's wait until his uh, slow immunity runs out. Oh, that's slow. But I have Link. Let's just wait until I have my freeze, honestly. I'll just straight up kill him. Pop! Got him. But yeah, uh, the semester went great. Things went great. Uh, I'm looking for a new apartment in February. So that's just, uh, just something I've been doing. But other than that, not too much, not too much in terms of life to talk about. Uh, you know what? I might actually be able to kill him again. Cause he, I'm almost certain he thinks I backed. And his beads are still down. No, I can't do it. Or can I? Bad or good idea? Oh, he... Was that Aegis? No. Oh my god! I didn't pop my ult because I was like, is he popping Aegis? That's just him changing... Oh, I feel like an idiot. That's him change when he ults. He changes. It kind of looked like Aegis. I don't like this. I'm not gonna call skin advantage because it's just I'm I'm not used to the skin, but that was kind of confusing. I would have popped my I don't think I would have killed him either way, but he would have been lower health. You know. Let's just go take his buff. Be back. I'm gonna take your buff. He doesn't care. That minion followed me all the way. But did not commit. In spite, an old mechanic it was that you could leash minions to the jungle and then uh, run away from the minions and the minions would start attacking buffs. And they could steal the buffs. I'm pretty sure minions can still steal buffs, but they won't attack buffs on their own. You have to like have a melee minion attack you right next to a buff. And that's the only way it can steal it. It's very weird. Ooh, that was bad. But that was good. As far as that Kukulkan ult goes, it's pretty scary. I literally cannot tell when he's ulting or not. There's the ult! It's... I don't... I don't like that ultimate. I really don't. Um, I am going to go at Wingblade before defense. Because the only reason I'm actually getting hit by his ult is because I'm getting slowed and I have no movement speed. 
So, and that's the only time I'm dying is to his ultimate. So if I can dodge his ult, I could do better. But no, this is a good variety of a matchup to see. And I guess it's good that he's using a different skin because it gives me a challenge, but eh. Um, we'll definitely kill him if he stays for this buff. But there's no way. There's no way you get out here. Your ultimate is down. There's zero chance. Oh, maybe there's one tiny chance. Minions, get him. Minions. <laughs> if he did not use his tornado, he would have gotten out. Because uh, the minions wouldn't have targeted him. That's kind of funny. Well, maybe I still would have gotten him. But either way, I think it's, I think it's pretty funny to know. He is going Book of Thoth, so... He has a huge amount of power late game. Kokolkin can have like upwards of 400 power with like a full defense build and only Book of Thoth. It's kind of scary. Little scary. I think this is a type of game where I would actually go for a bull demon just to bait him or actually take it. Just because he's so um, susceptible to my wall, you know? I definitely need a uh, wing blade. Wing blade is a must. There we go. My phoenix is under attack. When did you take my tower? I feel stupid. I thought I still had my tower. I probably. Oh no, no. I remember. I remember. Now, you see, I don't have enough damage to take tower, and I'm not gonna have enough damage for a long time, but he just used his ult. He's going straight to base. I have enough time to take this. Bull Demon does not have that much health come start of the game. Um, even if he came straight over here, I think I'd be fine because I have wards. Yep, Ymir takes Bull Demon very well in the early game. Very nice, very nice. He does have a uh, Bulwark, which gives him CCR. That is going to be quite an issue. I can get Sprint or Aegis. Let's get Aegis. Okay, now we need defense. I'm gonna go Void. Void, just so that we're doing as much damage as possible. Oh, you got Thorns? Thorns, eh? Am I body blocking him? Nope, not quite. Unsuccessful body block. When, good tip for you, Mir, I, I've said this multiple times, when you place a wall, what you want to do is you want to lock off the area they're going to, obviously, right? So, like, if they're running away from me, put a wall here and throw your two in their fastest escape route. Because they're almost always going to take the fastest escape route. When, like, when you throw out your wall like that, you are almost guaranteed a glacial strike unless they decide to take a worse path out which is still great for you because then uh then they're still in a bad position like like there i couldn't do it because i wasn't close enough but you know what i mean when you wall them off they're gonna take a path you know i should be able to take this nice probably shouldn't have picked it up though because i can take red buff you know i almost never go wing blade this early but I just felt like I needed the movement speed more than any other matchup here. Uh, just for his ult. That's the, like, I, I cannot react to that ult in that skin. Something is, I died to it four times. I don't need to die to it anymore. I'm guessing that's gonna be a Spear of the Mages, which would be fun. If it is a Spear of the Mages, I might go double defense. If it's an Obsidian, then we just stick with Void. You know, keep it simple. I do like the auto attack, but maybe that's not the answer here. I love going demonic grip on Ymir. I almost always do, but the reason I don't want to is because he's uh most of the time I'm hitting my three and then my two, and I don't have enough time to close the distance and auto attack cancel. So. If I went Demonic, I wouldn't be getting any of the pen from Demonic to do that, you know? So, it's kind of kind of a forced decision. I probably could have just thrown out my two there, but that's fine. 
Oh, he could use his two, unfortunate. Unlucky. This is just a waiting game because Kokokin's a mage that can clear wave and just sit in Phoenix. This is a waiting game until Bull Demon comes up. He also has wards, so what I want to do is I want to pay attention to where he places them and counter them. Also, you guys, thank you so much for the support on the Jing Tian video. Uh, that video blew up. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. I you know, love when videos happen. So he has two wards right now. Um, let's see. And he has one ward right now, so that means he placed a ward right on Bull Demon. Yep, there it is. There she be. Now he knows that I'm here. He's going to come to try to stop me, I think. And we kill him. Ooh, good one. Ages for ages, eh? Lock off his root. Oh, the perfect wall? Oh, no, not the perfect wall. Do I ult him? No. I don't want to ult him. Now I can use uh, ult on Bull Demon so we get more time, but I think I'll just save it for next engagement and or Titan. Now, a lot of the time when I get Bull Demon, I'll just go straight for the Phoenix, but here I do think I'll back just so I can finish my Obsidian, and he's still dead, so... Yeah, let's do that. Alright, let's go. Now, here's a mistake I see happen all the time when someone gets Bull Demon. They get Bull Demon, and their opponent clears a wave, and they chase after their opponent. You do not want to chase your opponent unless you're a thousand percent you can kill them. And I make that mistake all the time, too, because you... If without a minion wave, Bull Demon is the perfect amount of time to kill the Phoenix without um, with backdoor protection still there. Like right now it has backdoor protections. But as long as I stay on it, I should be able to kill it. And he knows that, so he's going to do his best to try and keep me off it. But as long as I'm putting pressure on him too, he'll have to keep going back to base. So that's good. Yeah, so right now he's going back to base. I'm going to kill this minion that's being annoying. Unfortunately, uh, Kokokin can place his Whirlwind perfectly on the Phoenix, so I can't attack it. Oh, here. This is perfect. So now my minion wave is in the Phoenix, and that's all he had to do. All he had to do was apply pressure to me um, and keep my minion wave from going in. That was his goal, but he failed to keep the minion wave out, so we were able to get it. Now we can start poking down Titan. Trying to force out his relics. Nice. Oh, that hit me. Kill the wave. Get out. I might be dead. Ooh. Oh, I have an entire health chalice I haven't been using, and I could have died because of that. Ignore that. Ignore my health chalice. I'm winning by a lot. Okay, I don't need health chalice. <laughs> Not even needed. All right, so last item. We're going to get the big boy item, Polynomicon. Also gonna upgrade this Aegis now this should be game one well, I mean unfortunately I don't like this about duel but um but now in duel once you get Phoenix it's pretty much game because the Phoenix the Titan is so squishy I really wish the Titan had more health and less damage because if it had more health and less damage that would mean that if you are winning you can still end the game it just takes longer but the Titans doesn't pose a threat to you your opponent still has to properly defend it and if they can't do that, then yeah, you do deserve to win the game. That's how I feel about it, you know? He's probably gonna ult me. Yep, there it is. Yeah, um, for those that haven't seen my mirror full gameplays, you can put the wall between you and the Titan, and the Titan will not destroy the wall as long as you don't move. The Titan only destroys walls when they it moves through the wall. But if you place it between it where it's still attacking, it can't damage you and it won't destroy the wall. That's the pe thing people get confused about. But all right, great game. So one more, one more. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Also just gonna show the stats real quick for anyone that wants to pause and look at them. I know that some people think that that's interesting. All right, I would much rather ban Vulcan than AMC, but to make things interesting, 
will ban AMC, let Vulcan through, because I already won two out of a best of five. So if I fight Vulcan, I fight Vulcan. So let's see what happens. And then if I do fight Vulcan, hopefully people can understand why I banned him. And I would much rather fight an AMC. But his bans are kind of all over the place. Uh, Loki ban and Kakon ban. A little confusing. All right, I'm going to jump into the game. All right, here we go. Against Hera. Ooh, I love this matchup. Um, I used to hate it. I used to hate this matchup with a passion, but as all matchups I hate, I eventually learn something that helps me deal with it. Um, except for Vulcan, and I will always hate Vulcan. There is no counter to that god if you play him perfectly, but besides the point, listen, Hera, her two is such a problem, okay? And obviously Argus, but I learned if you go out of Takimir, you can kill Argus pretty easily. And you actually life steal a ton off of him, which is great. But then you have to still deal with the Polymorph. Now, Beads works, but the best thing to do against Hera is just blink over it. It's an ability that is charged up for so long. And you, if you blink over it, all of a sudden her CC is down. She can only drop Argus on you. You can just freeze an altar, you know, which is pretty good. Also, she only has Bracer here, so I'm going to do a quick pop on her. Just try and get her Bracer or a lot of her health. And I will try to do more damage to her here. Nope. There's that shield. Movement speed. Movement speed is one of the things I hate in Smite, but that's okay. She's going to Bracer. her. All right, run. We can definitely kill her. 100%, we just need Blink to come up. And our, I mean, our three. Ooh, but with the minion wave, maybe not. Ooh, this kind of seems like the Achilles game where I might take a fight where I really shouldn't. Yeah, I should, I should just wait, it's safer. Nah, that didn't hit her, unfortunately. I know her Bracer's down. Now, if we can Blink over her too, we can kill her. That's the key. Bait or two, come on, use it. Use it. Ooh, but she's in mid wave now. I don't want to do it now. For sure, I don't want to do it now. All right. Is that level five? Ooh, she did not drop Argus on me. Now, the only reason I want to stay is because she doesn't have beads. So if I do freeze her, she can't drop Argus on me until after. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, nice. That was a little scary because I forgot to pop my mana potion and I ran out of mana. I couldn't ult, but mistakes, mistakes, but that's okay. We got it. I will never advertise myself as a perfect player. I make mistakes all the time, but, you know, I can learn from my mistakes and you guys can learn from them too. So, you know. That's how you become a better player. Did she get boots? No. Okay. We're fine. I would want to kill her, but I don't have, like, Bancrofts. Ooh, is she going for my blue buff? She is. Instead of... Let's get these. I want to kill her. I want to kill her at my blue buff. Speed boots is good. It, I would prefer cooldown boots, but if it guarantees me killing her at my blue, I would prefer this. I'm going to ult when she tries to polymorph me. Then we have CC Mindy. Oh, well, that went badly. Doesn't matter. Cool. Those speedy boots paid off. I rarely make uh, purchases like that. Oh, come on. Come on. She left. Now, this this is a little bit what I was worried about for finishing the Guardian Gauntlet off with Ymir. But it has to come to an end and... Ymir, Ymir's my best god, you know? It's, it's going to be... Uh, the, the, the climax of the Garden Gauntlet was probably with at Kumba Karna. You know, that was probably the hypest game. AMC versus Kumba. But Ymir, you know, it was just like... He's my best god. I have so many games on him. I'm going to do well in almost every matchup. Maybe... I, oh, I should have passed bans. That's what I should have done. No. No, because like Ymir versus Scotty and stuff is just awful. Either way... I guess this is it for the 
the uh, the gauntlet, you guys. Um, what I will do though is I will keep uploading full gameplays. Like I will keep probably upload some Yamoja, Jingtian, and probably some more Ymir games. And yeah, it's, it's just going to be really, really good. I'm a uh, I'm excited for the channel. If you guys ever want to stop by stream as well, twitch.tv slash hatmaster. I stream almost every day now from uh, about about 5 p.m. East or a little bit later. If you come by, I'll probably be streaming. But best way is to follow the channel. That way you get notified. And yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by. A lot of people stop by and say they're a fan. And, you know, that's really nice. Um, I, I don't really have much more to say. We're just going to wait out the game, I guess. Just because it's not an official game unless Titan falls, you know. Uh, I, I could redo the match, but I, I have a feeling we're just going to fall into the same things. And honestly, we should just save the, the other matches for just regular full game, regular full gameplays. Yep, I think that's strat. Well, thank you guys for watching, and it's been a fantastic series. Uh, let me know your opinions on if I do Season 2 for the new Joust map when it comes out. I'm super excited for it. Uh, have a good day, everybody.